This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Regelsburg. But before that, this video is brought to you by Peter Does Farming and Darren Cassell. Thank you for being Farmer Barons. So the Regelsburg map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let's read a little bit of the description. Welcome to Regelsburg, a real place right in the heart of Middle Franconia. This map awaits you with 18 fields, 2 meadows, 46 viable fields, 1 farm, a BGA, vehicle and livestock dealers, 2 cell points, 5 factories, 20 collectors, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, field grass as a new crop, soy drink, and heat as new products. We'll talk about those here in a minute. Precision farming DLC support, many new paintable decorations, and this map also has some required mods. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have going on here. We have the biogas 150 kilowatt is a required mod, as well as the grain mill, as well as the Hessen Farm. And we also have the Small Garage. Those are the four required mods. We're gonna use those in addition to additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. I'll also tell you, if you load this map up in a farm and manager mode or start from scratch, you will not own any land. You will have starting machinery. And you will also have the main farm built out exactly how you see it here in new farmer mode. So the only differences between new farmer and the alternate play modes is going to be your bank account and the fact that in new farmer mode, you own some starting land. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. This is a fairly small map. If we zoom on out. We'll see kind of the size that we typically would have a map would be about what I'm kind of outlining right there and the playable area is this box but more appropriately the play area is more about from the top of the screen here down to this red line on either side a significant portion of this map is going to be forested area this map does have all the standard crops available to us in farm sim 22 in addition to the addition of field grass and if we take a look at our lands area, you'll see we start by owning farmland ID one, which is the main farm, as well as farm ID two, which is our starting field. This field is 11.56 acres of size, and it's gonna cost you $210,000 to buy. Farmland ID one is gonna cost you $27,000 to buy, and you're gonna need to buy that if you are in farm manager or start from scratch. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. Farmland lease screen is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include fields, which field or fields are included, then ultimately how much is that farmland going to cost us. We can then cross-reference our farmland lease screen with the field calculator screen. The field calculator screen is going to show us the specific fields on the map and how large each specific field is. And let's go ahead and take a look and see how the precision farming soil map is being applied to these fields. What we're seeing here is the alpine soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod. And field one, which is our starting field, is going to have loam and sandy loam. A significant portion of fields are going to be loam and sandy loam or sandy loam and loamy sand. But the southern fields mostly composed of silty clay. Taking a look at our crop counter, we do have the standard base game crop counter available to us in Farm Sim 22 with the addition of field grass. Field grass, we have the ability to plant from March through November. Then we have the ability to harvest field grass from April through November. Taking a look at our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops that are available to us in a Farm Sim 22. In addition, we also have the ability to sell our animal outputs of eggs, wool, and milk. And then lastly, we also have the ability to sell silage, hay, straw, and grass. As we move down and talk, start talking about our productions, we do indeed have the ability to buy all of our base game productions. 
that we can produce in FS22. We also have the ability to sell a fair bit of or buy a fair bit of product at the buying station. Now, if we take a look at some of the additional items, for example, we do have added to this map field grass. Heat has no buy point or sell point, but that's okay. We're going to talk about that here in a wee little bit. And we also have soy drink, which oddly enough, the sawmill is looking to buy from us. If you are playing with the platinum expansion, given the fact that we do have a fair bit of forestry available on the map, you will be maybe a little disappointed to know that there are no built in sell points that are going to accept the platinum expansion items, but that's okay. You can always put down your own sell point for those. And then lastly, if you are playing with separated manure and pumps and hoses, do note there is no buy point for that. Now we do start out with a very decent list of starting machinery. Given the fact that we have a fairly small map with fairly small fields, we do start out with 20 cows. We also have contracts available on the map. We also start out with a fermenter silo that's going to take grass, hay, chaff, or straw and convert that into silage. There are 11 collectibles listed here in the statistics menu, although the description says there are 20 collectors, which I can only assume via translate means 20 collectibles. So I don't know why there is a discrepancy of nine based on the description versus what we have here in the stats screen. But I'm gonna go by the statistics and say that you're only gonna find 11 collectibles on the map. And speaking of collectibles, well, your very first one is right here at the starting farm. There you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with a class Arion 660 small tracker, as well as the Fent Favorite 515C. We've got the Fent 724 Vario medium tracker. Then we have the Dutzfar Top Liner 4090H Harvester that is paired up the 4090H Harvester Header and the 4090H Harvester Header Trailer. We got the Welder DK 115 Trailer, the Samgard 9500K Cultivator, the Kuhn HR 4040 Power Harrow that is then matched up with the Venta 4030 Cedar. We have the Amazon ZATS 3200 Fertilize Spreader. We have the Q4M Front Loader Arms. And for the Front Loader Arms, we have the Pallet Fork, Manure Fork, and Universal Bucket. Then we round it all out with a pair of 900 kilogram front weights. Take a look at our mods and DLCs page. You will see that this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements. And then if we go ahead and take a look at our build mode, we'll see that with this map, we do have with the added mods we do have the small garage we also are going to see some things here under silos with respect to the mod hessen farm mod and a custom regelsberg bunker silo base game silos extensions containers we have the small garage with workshop here under tools and then we have some hessen farm farmhouse as far as production goes We do have a few items that are listed as modded productions. No modded cell points or greenhouses, orchards, or generators. We do have within the Hessen farm mod some custom animal pins. Now they did list that we had several paintable decorations. So I'm going to look here under landscaping. We do have a good long list of paintable ground textures. Wowzers, let's go ahead and paint through all of these. Those of you that like lots of paintable ground textures, you will be very, very happy to see what we have here. We have animal mud, asphalt, we have in concrete, another form of concrete, third form of concrete, and then we just keep down the concrete, some stamped concrete of different shades dirt, grass, more grass, more concrete, even more concrete, 
of all shapes and sizes, forest ground, grass, more concrete, gravel, some more gravel. We're going to now run through all the various permutations of a gravel. Back to more stamped concrete. Bricks. I mean, just textures galore here. Some lattice work. Some more listed concrete, some paving stones. And there we go. Fairly standard FS22 trees. And then we have lots of paintable ground textures. There are standard plants and bushes. And then we get to uh, big branches that we can paint down, foliage, mushrooms, maple leaves, thimbleberry, maiden fern, stinging needle. We can put down cultivated soil. We can put down plowed soil. We can put down small stones medium stones and then of course big stones we have some plants we can put down these are kind of unnamed plants but okay and there you go i mean that is quite a lot of stuff you're going to be really able to fully customize what you want your map or what you want your farm to look like with all of these. Let's go ahead and just make sure these are all complying with the overall new 3D or 3D texturing technique. So far I would say yes indeed. But there are a ton textures that one may not be but hey there are so many that are i mean really i don't know how many is the max you can have but this map is right up there with some of the others that have about as many as I have seen to date as far as paintable ground textures. Then we have our paintable plants, our sticks, mushrooms, leaves, ferns, Cultivated ground texture, plowed ground texture, and our various stones. And other plants. Now that, let's go ahead and take a look at the farm. So right here we start on the farm. We have our wardrobe trigger and our sleep trigger here at the farmhouse. Right across from the farmhouse, do have some vehicle and implement storage. We have our cow barn. The cow barn here will hold 45 cows, of which we have 10 round Swiss and 10 Holstein. 
We have our milk trigger right here. Inside we have our food trough and our straw trigger. On the other side of the building, we then have our slurry trigger. Across from the cow farm, we have our fermenting silo. So we have our dump point and our fill point. And then we have our farm silo. So we have our dump point and our fill point here for our farm silo. More storage. And that is pretty much the starting farm here. We can sell everything that we have seen here at the starting farm. All of these buildings can be sold. All of the decorative elements can be sold. So with respect to can the farm be customized? The answer is very much yes, indeed, it can. Now, this is a fairly small map. For that, we are going to forego the drive around. We're going to do a little bit of a walk here just to show you some of these triggers that are real close to the main starting farm. We have our animal dealer basically across the street from our cow farm. And we have some nice animated animals here at the cow farm, or at the cow dealer. We have our bakery. We have an interactive trigger. Our pallet spawn point and our dump point around the back. We have our dairy. And this looks like a base team dairy, but it does have a trick up its sleeve because the dairy is where we are going to make our soy milk. So we have our dump point there. And around the front, we have our interactive icon. And let's go ahead and take a look at our production screen. You'll see we're going to be able to make butter, cheese, chocolate, and then also soy. We're going to need soybeans. We're going to need water for that. And we're going to need sugar. And that's going to make us our soy drink. Let's go back around the back here. Now we are not seeing a indicator as to where our pallets are going to spawn at the dairy. We do have that indicator here, though, at the bakery. And let's go ahead and get a little bit of altitude. Pull up the main map. And we'll fly down the road here. And down here we have our carpentry facility. And then we also have our biomass heating plant. So we have our standard base game carpenter, our wood spawn point for our furniture. We have our cell point for our logs and planks, our wood cell trigger and our interactive icon there. We have a cell point around the back for our carpentry shop. Here we have the buy all silo or the buy products silo. And then we have our biomass heating plant production. We have our dump point. We have our interactive icon here on the side. And we have an output point here. Let's go ahead and see. And the biomass heating plant is a little interesting. So we have wood chips going in and we get 300 units of heat. And then we have 10 units of solid fertilizer as far as outputs. Or we can take 200 units of straw, and that's going to generate 200 units of heat, and then 10 units of solid fertilizer. That is our custom production here at the biomass heating plant. To the north of our farm and the town, right between fields 9 and 10, that's where we're going to find our stone crusher. 
overall we have smallish flat fields, medium sized fields. So we're a stone crusher here. With respect to production being built in, there are seven production items built in. We have a fermenting silo at the main farm. We have listed a BGA. Although I don't know where the BGA is. Because we are now seeing everything that there is to see. Unless the BGA is hidden somewhere that I have not located. There we go. Well, we've now found the BGA. I was just thinking about that during my initial reconnaissance of the map. I didn't ever recall seeing a biomass plant. So we have a BGA, we have a bakery, grain mill, which is directly in front of us here. Carpentry, dairy, and biomass heating. So we have our pallet spawn point, our interactive icon, and then our dump point around the side. For our custom grain mill, this does make all of the standard grain mill items. We have a horse farm cell point located right here. Behind that, we have then our fuel dealer, our gas station. And at the back of the gas station, we have our dealer trigger. At the back door of the gas station. Hmm. Not sketchy at all. Let's go ahead and get our Mahindra just so we'll see where things spawn in at. So we have a fairly large parking lot for vehicles and implements to spawn in. A decent sized exit here at the spawn point in order to get your vehicles or implements out. Uh, given the size of these fields again, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble with getting things out of here in order to basically work on those fields with a given reasonable size. Now inside the shed, we have our workshop trigger or our dealer trigger. That's where we're going to be able to customize, paint, trade, and repair our items. Then as we move down to the biogas plant, we're going to be giving the map at full point because we can indeed sell all of the base game crops, production items, and animal outputs. We said already we're going to be giving the map a full point with respect to being able to sell all the items at the main starting farm. In addition, we are going to be giving the map a full point as well because we do indeed have the ability or do we indeed have the new texturing technique on the ground textures that are at the map as well as the buildings. So here we are at the BGA. We already own this once we buy the land. We're gonna be able to take silage, slurry, manure, straw, hay, potatoes, and the sugar beet cut and convert that into energy as well as digestate. So we have our digestate. This is our slurry dump point. We have our fermenting dump point. We have our silage bunkers. And let's just see. Here we have our digestate output over here at the corner. What I want to see is can we sell the BGA? We can indeed sell the entirety of the BGA. Looks like this lamp post is going to end up remaining. It's a little bit of disappointment. And we can also. Sell the uh, BGA bunkers. But there's a little bit of concrete wall here at the back that is going to remain there also. Now, as far as trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked, we did have the lacking of clear markings with respect to the dairy. So we are going to deduct a quarter of a point there. And that is going to give this map a score of 
Seven five out of five. That's right. If we had only had a couple little indicator markers, then this map could have scored a good 5.0. Let me know, guys, what you all think down in the comments below with this nice small map, Regalsburg. Again, it's available over at the Giants mod up farming simulator in game and downloadable content menu. And until next time, happy farming.